Real quick video on uh, some early food production we're doing here. We've uh, pulled back the chips on the back of the fences and we put in some topsoil and we've got some, uh, well, sugar snap peas going. And we also then planted some spinach on top of that. And when these come up, we'll be able to push that mulch back on there. It also gives us uh, a vertical aspect to this bed and gets us some seeds in the ground early. The reason that's important is because we're, you know, approaching May 1st here, but we still go below freezing until the end of June. So, some of the first things coming up around here are early flowers and herbs. You see a cat nip back there tucked in the hot rocks that's coming up one of our first flowering perennials columbine is always one of the first things to come up here and soon the plum trees are going to be blooming and one other early crop that we can uh, get going here also is uh, some strawberries. We have about three or four patches like this. And we're working on increasing that. Here you can see a hugel mound with a lot of cardboard and debris that I've been burying in sand and we're developing. It's an ongoing process. A very large current which is about to flower. Back there we have a carrageena which is a nitrogen fixer in this little orchard of apricot, plum and more carrageena. Um, sand cherry, another carrageena, Macintosh apple, and then if I can just come up here and stay dry, you can see in these tiers, uh, plum trees about to flower and some wax current here that's just about to pop. Look at that. And we'll just finish with the field of Purple Mountain spinach. Take a look at that. Be safe. Oh. I was getting a little wet there. Another interesting development I wanted to point out is that in here, we have a bottle gourd that made it through since last year right there. So that's interesting. And our purple mountain spinach is on fire.